Here we go. It's the Kiana Show. I don't stop it. <laughs> it's the end of the year, y'all, and what horrific series events takes place before the winter break? Finals. On this episode of Texan Talk, Unos have some final advice for you and some stories. Accept the fact that you're not going to get any sleep. He doesn't sleep. He just drinks coffee. Don't do that. Because coffee no. will make you crash. What are you talking you about? Just make sure I you sleep. Stay hydrated. H2O is very important. Hydrate. Yeah. Hydrate. There you go. But most importantly, do drink coffee. Keep yourself awake. Well, like a cup a day. And two focus. cups a day. A pump. Not five. Drink a pump. Sometimes I like to get hyped up like pumps for, you know, a test. Like I pre-game in a way. <laughs> like a bunch of take, take some pre-workout. Yeah, like pre-workout. And I just like it hyped. I'm just yeah. like... Let's do this. You're ready to rage. I'm own that Start test. flipping tables in the in the, in the uh, classroom. I don't recommend that, but it did happen one time. You're too much Red Bull. Don't overdose on Red Bull. Oh. But it happened, and just get hacked up, you know? Like, let's do this test. You know? Going down. Something like that. There's the no sleep type of people during finals week. There's the I've given up all hope during finals week. <laughs> yeah. There's the people. Uh, there's the partier who's just like, you know, I'm just gonna wing it. I'm not gonna study for finals. I'm just gonna go out. And you know, I feel like I'm feeling pretty confident that I'll do all right. You know, my grades don't look that bad. Uh, don't be that person. Slackers oh, yeah. that don't study and just show up to the test. Oh yeah, like you don't see them all semester and then you're like, you're in my class? Yeah, what? what? <laughs> the overstudier, you don't wanna be this person either. It's, you know, they're doing well in the class. They have an A or a high B in the class, but they think they need to spend every waking second in the library or studying and not eating and just kind of overwhelm themselves and they actually do worse on the finals. So you don't want to be that person. You want to find the, the good medium. I think you should study, uh, it's recommended to study like up to four hours and then take a break. You know, study four hours at a time because if you study after four hours, your brain is just kind of brain dead and it's just not processing everything. So you don't retain any of that new information that you get. So be that happy medium. Don't be the partier, but don't be the overstudier. Study habits they should not do. No, Okay. Oh, well then a study habit you should not do is don't study. Not studying defeats the purpose of studying. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean like, I don't think there's a bad studying habit other than not having one. That's I mean, true. whatever works for you. Like if you like note cards, use note cards. If you like to read, read. Combination of the two, combination of the two. Proven if you like chew gum when you're studying, if you choose to chew the same flavor of gum while you're studying and you chew it while you're taking the test, it helps you remember more. Get your eight hours of sleep and try to like wake up before the test, like maybe a couple hours and study some more. So it's like freshly on your mind. I do sometimes. Yeah. Make sure you wake up though. Okay. Sometimes, you know, you're like, oh, a little, little nap. I'm just do, you know, big nap and it's the next day and it's the final and you're really scared. And Lost. Don't know what to do. Yeah, super scared. I, I learn by reading, not by really listening, because you know it goes in and it goes out because I don't pay attention. But I, if I read it, I'll learn it. Mm -hmm. Also, um, if you just if you get like a packet of the slides or you take notes directly from what your teacher said, go through, read it, and you know write it down again in your own words. Mm -hmm. Like if you can take what you see and then explain it in how you would say it, mm -hmm. it helps a lot with actually comprehending uh, what you just read and what the teacher taught you. The third no. floor, and if you get a study room, a group study room, keep it. No, but you won't study in group study rooms because you'll end up just talking and you socializing. I study so I just recommend going by yourself, finding the individual ones, okay. or finding yourself as, don't, don't study, don't study. or finding your place, la, 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 finding your place between the bookshelves and sit there and just study because you'll be hidden from people, so you won't be tempted to I talk. I mean, if you want to put yourself in solitary confinement, you could probably just commit a really heinous crime. Do you want to graduate, though? I don't know, GP. I'm, ask, I'm going to ask you the same question. Do you want to graduate? No, not really. <laughs> OK, so she doesn't want to graduate, and she's telling you to study by yourself. I want to graduate, and I'm telling you to get a study room and keep it. You know, who, who are you going to listen to here? Uh, the library will be your home. And it's because they're just going to be packed full of people that will be like, 50 people in a study room, even though it only holds like eight. Um, I would try, I wouldn't go on the first floor. I'd go probably on the second floor because that's the quiet zone. The first floor will probably be quiet, but not as quiet as the second floor. Um, 
And there's a lot of people don't understand how big the second floor is. Like if you go behind the bookshelves, you can find like some secret spots to kind of chill out and put your headphones in and just hash out some some study hours and you know get homework done, whatever you have to do. I honestly don't like the library during finals because it's too packed and then while everyone's in there they just talk and I can't study. Really? I, mean, I just I don't know, I think it's just too packed, I guess. And then it gets too hot. <laughs> I like the library. I like how like we have Starbucks and computers and um, now like the hours extended to three in the morning so that's like a big woo. Um, I feel like I can get more focused in the li library because if I'm at home I get distracted easily <laughs> and sometimes like you see people there and you can study with them and get a snack downstairs or wherever. Yeah, um, Definitely try not to touch your phone. Oh my my advice would be like maybe put it in the room beside you <laughs> or put it in your backpack, because I know we always have that little temptation when we hear vibrate to check it. And then as soon as you know it, you end up on Instagram and Twitter and mm. all this stuff. So definitely keep your phone out of like your visual sight and just focus on what you're doing and stay motivated. Study alone. Yeah, I mean, you can go with friends, but no. turn <laughs> Study alone. Turns into social hour yeah. a lot. So. Everybody, everybody goes to the library and uh, finals week and everybody just socializes so it, yeah it starts out like yeah you study then you're two hours in it's like yeah, twitter, twitter 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 hail came out instagram cool. <laughs> i wouldn't recommend studying maybe just like with one other person you can study if that person has the same class as you but if you're studying with a big group of people that you know that are your friends but they have different classes it can kind of tempt you to kind of you know go on instagram and you know show them a funny picture or show them that funny cat video that you just found on facebook uh you know just so kind of limit yourself on how many people you're studying with. Uh, during finals, there's going to be a lot of people in the library, so it's kind of hard to get away from all that, but just kind of use self-discipline and uh, time management. So I'm, I'm lactose intolerant, so yeah, I, like, I have to get the, the non-dairy creamer. So you know, I took this final and then uh, went to Starbucks after work. It's like, oh man, I, you know, I smashed that final, but I had another one coming up in two hours. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go to the library. So, you know, I, I splurged a little bit, and I was like, oh, I did good on the phone. I'm going to go get some Starbucks. So, uh, you know, go to Starbucks, get, like, some weird drink. The lady recommended it. It was, like, a Frappa Karma, like, mocha coffee thingy. So I get that. You know, I'm drinking that, studying, and I'm like, oh, man, my stomach's kind of hurting. Like, you know, maybe it wasn't a good idea to get coffee, but I was like, whatever, I'm going to shake it off. I'll do this final. So I get, like, sick, and I start, you know, throwing up and I can't make it to the final so I completely miss the final and have to email the teacher and tell them exactly what happened and it was really embarrassing because I had to tell them like kind of I had to give them details because I didn't want to make it seem like I was just making an excuse because it really did happen and he ended up uh, giving me a new time slot and I had to take the final like in front of a completely other class like at the very front of the class and they had to like look at me while I was taking my final and I had to like look at them so it was pretty embarrassing but I mean got the final done uh, got to be in the class so it wasn't that bad. That's definitely code purple is what we definitely all hope for during finals. Oh yes. Oh, oh uh, when it snowed. Fall 2013. Yes, that was never fun. forget. I almost oh, forgot about that. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. Finals were canceled for like a, a week or they were moved up because. Yeah they moved back. What do they uh, call it? The ice. It's the ice apocalypse. Ice apocalypse. Ice apocalypse of 2013. Never forget. Good times. F <laughs> some finals were canceled. If you had an 89, you probably got an A. You didn't even have to take some finals because the professors were like, "We don't want to go." They're like, "Yeah." They felt the same whatever. way. They're like, "No." Oh, so it was, it was great. Dude, it was really I think cool. I made a 4.0 that semester. Thank you, Snow. The ice apocalypse. Our final got canceled and it was moved to online, and I got a hundred on it. Heck yeah. So yeah, after finals done, you know, it's like a big relief off your shoulders. You know, it's just like you walk out and the sun's a little brighter, the birds are chirping, the sky's a little blue, and you know, you're just feeling great. After finals done, it's just a big relief off your shoulders. You get a nice, it's not like high school where you only get, you know, just a little bit of time off. College, you get like almost, I think, about a month off. So you get a little, nice time to relax, get your bearings together, and come back hard and ready for the uh, second semester. That's it for this week's episode of Texan Talk. We only have three episodes left. Be sure to catch up on the past Texan Talks on Texan News Service YouTube channel. That's a wrap.